In question 10, we have to factorize each of these given expressions. The first one is 27y cube plus 125z cube. Both of these are perfect cubes. And the second one is 64m cube minus 343n cube. Again, both of the terms in this expression are perfect cubes. And the hint says question 9. So in the previous question, we had expressed the sum and the difference of two cubes in product form. So let me just bring that up from the last question. So these are the two identities we had proven in the last question. x cube plus y cube is x plus y times x square minus x y plus y square. x cube minus y cube is x minus y times x square plus x y plus y square. So this is what we're going to use for this question. So let's do the first part. So in the first part we have 27y cube plus 125z cube. This is equal to the cube of 3y. So 3y cube plus 5z cube. And now, now we're going to use the first identity x cube plus y cube. Um, so this will be equal to x plus y which is 3y plus 5z times x square. So that's 9y square minus xy. So that's 15yz. Um, plus y square so that's 25 z square so this is the factored form of the first expression now let's do the second part so in the second part we have 64 m cube minus 343 n cube so 64 m cube is the cube of 4 m so 4 m whole cube minus 343 n cube is the cube of 7 n so minus 7 n whole cube so now we are going to use the second identity x cube minus y cube where x is 4 m and y is 7 n so this is going to be equal to x minus y so that's 4 m minus 7 n then x square so that's 4 m square or 16 m square plus x y so that's 4m times 7n or 28mn plus y square and y square is 7n whole square or 49n square. So that factorizes the second expression and that completes this question. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.